CT cell is considered advanced when it in um, stages 2B or higher, which means whether patients have either tumors on their skin. So I tell patients kind of something that looks like a lump or like a half a golf ball on your skin, um, usually raised, sometimes they open up and make ulcers or sores, or when patients have blood involvement. Um, meaning circulating lymphoma cells that we can detect in the blood. Um, the other thing that can happen that can make people advanced without tumors or blood involvement or sometimes with is being red from head to toe or erythroderma. So they're often patients are quite itchy when that happens. Um, and that's that's generally considered advanced disease. Patients should seek a second opinion from a secondary cancer center anytime they want. I mean, frankly, this is a really rare disease. Um, many dermatologists will only see a few patients with cutaneous T-cell lymphoma in their lifetimes, and they're the ones who are often diagnosing patients. Um, and uh, same with oncologists, they may not manage that many patients with it. And so I tell you know all my patients, and, and, and luckily there's um, great organizations like the, the LRF that can help patients find treatment centers. Um, but I tell my patients, it's never wrong to seek a second opinion. It's never wrong to, um, you know, at least have one visit with somebody to just make sure that you're on the right track, that you've gotten the new education, that you know what the risks really are for you and, and what's a reasonable long-term follow-up plans. For, you know, decades, we had only a few options and they were, you know, chemotherapy that patients didn't tolerate very well. Now we have quite a bit uh, more going on in terms of antibody directed therapies. Uh, for example, like mogomelizumab, which is a new antibody treatment um, that's that's working uh, well for for many patients. Um, there are other antibody directed therapies against, um, for example, CD30, um, agent called brantuximab, which is used for other types of lymphomas, which turns out to be really effective for patients who have CD30 in their skin. Um, so. The cutaneous T-cell lymphoma is, um, even though it's an orphan disease and a rare disease, um, there are thankfully uh, many companies that are interested in developing new drugs um, and, and lots of stuff coming down the pipeline.